Corey Dion, Coco Goff, Lifestyle and Net Worth Corey Dion, Coco Goff, born on March 13, 2004, is an American professional tennis player. She has won six WTA Tour singles titles, including a major at the 2023 U.S. Open, and eight doubles titles, five partnering with Jessica Pagula and three with Katie McNally. Born to parents with NCAA Division I collegiate backgrounds in basketball, track and field, Goff became the number one junior in the world after winning the junior 2018 French Open singles title, and also won a junior major doubles title at the 2018 U.S. Open. She rose to prominence with a win over former world number one and seven-time major singles champion, Venus Williams, in the opening round, going on to reach the fourth round. Coco Goff has a net worth of approximately $16 million. She is 5 feet 9 inches tall, which is equivalent to 1.75 meters tall. That being said, let's roll. Coco Goff Real Estate Until a year ago, Goff was living with his parents in Florida. However, she has now bought a new four-bedroom luxury apartment in Atlanta, Georgia. The price of the property is $2.9 million. Goff's first car was a pre-owned Honda Civic. She recently bought a new car, which is a Porsche Cayman. A year later, she bought a Mercedes GLS for her family. Coco Goff Early Life Goff was born on March 13, 2004, to Candy Goff and Corey Goff, both from Delray Beach, Florida. She has two younger brothers. Her father played college basketball at Georgia State University and later worked as a healthcare executive. Her mother was a track and field athlete at Florida State University, and worked as an educator. Goff lived her early years in Atlanta. She began playing tennis at the age of six. When she was seven, her family moved back to Delray Beach to have better training opportunities. She worked with Gerard Loglo at the New Generation Tennis Academy, starting from the age of eight. Goff's parents gave up their careers to focus on training their daughter. Her father later became her primary coach, while her mother oversaw her homeschooling. Her father had limited experience playing tennis growing up. At the age of 10, Goff began to train at the Muradoglu Academy in France, run by Patrick Muradoglu, longtime coach of Serena Williams. Goff won the USTA Clay Court National Under-12 title at the age of 10 years and 3 months to become the youngest champion in the tournament's history. Coco Goff Personal Life Goff is a Christian. Since she was 8 years old, she has prayed with her father before every match that she and her opponent would be safe. After winning the Cincinnati Open in August 2023, she said and I quote, I'd like to thank my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I spent a lot of nights alone, crying trying to figure it out. Goff's tennis idols are Serena Williams and Venus Williams. She also confessed and I quote, Serena Williams has always been my idol, as well as Venus Williams. They are the reason why I wanted to pick up a tennis racket. Goff first met Serena Williams when she won the Little M.O. National Tournament at the age of eight, and later met her again to film a commercial for Delta Airlines, as well as at the Muradoglu Academy. After defeating Venus Williams at Wimbledon in 2019, Goff expressed her respect when they shook hands at the net. She states and I quote, I was just telling her thank you for everything she's done for the sport. She's been an inspiration for many people. I was just really telling her thank you. In a 2020 post on, Behind the Racket, created on Instagram by former professional tennis player, Noah Rubin, Coco Goff stated she had experienced depression and stress related to her sporting career. Later on, her parents clarified that she had not been diagnosed with depression in the clinical sense, and had not sought medical attention relating to her psychological well-being. Goff is a fan of anime. In the NFL, she supports the Miami Dolphins. Coco's romantic relationships are just one thing the athletic star keeps away from the public eye. Anyone who follows the teenager on her TikTok or Instagram will see no evidence of a main squeeze. However, Coco confirmed during her Grand Slam win that a special someone exists in her life. Corey Dion Jr. Career Goff is a former world number one junior. 
She entered the prestigious Les Petits as 14 and under tournament in 2016 at age 12, and made it to the semi-finals. Goff began playing on the ITF junior circuit at the age of 13, skipping directly to the highest level grade A and grade 1 tournaments. She finished runner-up to Jamie Forlease in her third career event, the Grade 1 Prince George's County Junior Tennis Championships, in Maryland. At her next event, Goff made her Junior Grand Slam debut at the 2017 U.S. Open and finished runner-up to Amanda and Isimova. Goff did not drop a set before the final in either tournament. She became the youngest girls singles finalist in U.S. Open history. After beginning 2018 with a semi-final at the Grade 1 Taralgon Junior International in Australia, Goff lost her opening round match at the Australian Open. She did not enter another tournament in singles until the French, where she won her first career Junior Grand Slam tournament title. She did not drop a set until the final, where she came from behind to defeat Katie McNally in three sets. With the title, Goff became the fifth youngest girls singles champion in French Open history. A month later, following another final win against McNally at the Grade 1 Junior International Roehampton, she became the number one junior in the world. Corey Dion Professional Career Goff made her debut on the ITF women's circuit in May 2018 at the age of 14, as a qualifier in the $25,000 event at Osprey, where she won her first professional match. She received a wild card into qualifying at the U.S. Open, but lost her opening match five months after turning 14 years old. In her first 2019 tournament, she finished runner-up in doubles at the $100,000 Midland Tennis Classic alongside Enley. Two weeks later, Goff played her next event at the $25,000 level in surprise, and reached the finals in both singles and doubles. She finished runner-up in singles and won her first WTA title in doubles alongside Paige Auregan. In March, at the Miami Open, she recorded her first WTA match win against Katie McNally. Goff played in one U.S. Open Series tournament at the Washington Open, where she qualified for the main draw but lost in the first round. She entered the doubles event with Katie McNally, and defeated Fanny Stoller and Maria Sanchez in the final for their first career WTA title in their first joint. At the US Open, Goff wildcarded into the singles and doubles main draws. She continued her Grand Slam success in singles with two three-set wins over Anastasia Potapova and Tamia Babos, both on Louis Armstrong. She was defeated in the third round by world number one in defending champion, Naomi Osaka. In August, Coco Goff won the Washington Open, beating Maria Sakkari in the final. It was Goff's first WTA 500 singles title, and her biggest singles title to date. She became the first teenager to win the tournament. Goff won her first WTA 1000 title at the 2023 Cincinnati Open, defeating world number no. 1, IGA Swiatek, in the semifinals and world number no. 10, Karolina Machova, in the finals. In September, Goff won the 2023 U.S. Open, her first major singles title, beating world number no. 2, Horina Sabalenka, in three sets and becoming the first American teenager to win the U.S. Open since Serena Williams in 1999. As a result, she reached world no. 3 in the rankings on September 11, 2023. Thank you for watching, and remember to subscribe to our channel for such amazing content.